Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. If you are easily triggered, leave now because this is not the show for you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, today I will be discussing my point of view. In my most humble opinion, the modern day woman, black women in particular, do not know their places. They don't want to stay in their lane. A woman needs to stay in a woman's place. And the only way for a woman to really understand what that means, because what I said was not, it wasn't misogynistic. It's factual. In order for a woman to know how to stay in a place, then she must understand traditional gender roles. So we're going to dissect this because women tend to hate gender roles now. Now let's get into it. Give me a second as I pull it up, ladies and gentlemen. And this is an educational video educating you about gender roles. And I'm using every clip out of fair use. Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. Sis, can I share something with you? Sure. I want to clear up a misconception about the structure of a home. In your home, when you are married, your husband has absolute authority. What does that mean? He has the final say in that home. Now exactly. That's something that women do not want to hear. Let's give an example of that. If you and your husband both want to go on a vacation and all you want to do is go to Tahiti, but your man wants to go to Jamaica. If he is your husband, if there are children, if he is the head of the household, you go on Tahiti don't mean nothing. If he decides to go to Jamaica, all the family go to Jamaica. Or he'll get he'll do what you want to do out the later on. I'm getting my words mixed up, but you know what I'm trying to say here. I'm sorry. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. My mind just went somewhere. Let's keep going. Now, what you have as a wife is we have delegated authority. That is the... I'm going to back that up. I want you to hear that. As we have delegated authority, that is the authority that he has given us as our husbands for the things that he want us to oversee. But that's right. The man is the ultimate authority other than God in that household. The authority that the women get are delegated. In other words, in the military, you have a captain, a captain, or you have people that are higher ranking officers. They have all authority over what it is that they are doing. But they have some subordinates. They have some people that work underneath them. So he delegates certain things that they're supposed to do. He grants you permission. So ladies, although you don't want to hear this, your husband is responsible for granting permission for you to do certain things in that relationship. You don't want to hear me say grant because you don't want to be submissive. The only way a person is submissive is if they yield to the authority of the power over them. The man is the power over the woman. The man is the power over the children. The children do, don't run over the father. The woman doesn't run over her husband. She know how to shut up. Women know how to shut up when they are feminine. All these women who like to interrupt a man when he's talking, all these women who like to loud talk a man, disrespect a man, you are not worthy to be called wives. You are not worthy to be called women. Those are the actions of a, ch a child. I know my words coming out weird today, but... Those are actions of children. A woman has to yield everything. She has to yield her mind, her soul, and her body to that man. She has to yield her finances to that man. Now, that man is not God Almighty, but you are supposed to serve him. Okay? Because I know you want to get mad when I say stuff like that, but women are supposed to have a place, and you never know what your position is if it's never been defined. Let's keep going. Delegated authority. That is the authority that he has given us as our husbands for the things that he wants us to oversee. But to be into a marriage and make decisions on your own that you have not ran past your husband uh, is out of order. So I want us to understand. Exactly. When a woman decides to make a big purchase without discussing that with her husband, you are out of order. Whenever you do things that can impact the family financially, spiritually, emotionally, or if you decide to do things that would take up family time without running it past your husband, who has the final say, who is the final authority in that home, you are out of order. You are not operating in your feminine energy. You are now trying to act like a man. You're trying to operate in masculine energy. You do not lead a man. Even if you make more money than a man, if you are in a relationship or, or should I say, if you are in a marriage with a man and you make Tell him more money than he do. You must submit to that man. That means your money is also yielded to that man as he sees fit. 
for the benefit of the family. I'm not talking about giving your money and all this stuff away to a man who is a bum or loser, someone who don't know how to be a leader, someone who doesn't know how to be a masculine boss. I'm not saying that. But I'm talking about good, decent men who are responsible and productive and competitive. These type of men who you want to be with, who chose you to be in marriage with them, you yield everything you got to that man, period. And this is a traditional gender role. And we used to have stronger families back then when women used to do those things that I just mentioned have not ran past your husband uh, is out of order. So I want us to understand that when we become married, the husband is the head and as the head, he has absolute authority. Remember that today and carry on. Carry on, carry on, carry on. I'm going to show you what happened about when women want to make boys into girls, basically. And I, I can't stand this stuff, you know what I mean? I'm going to play this, let's get to it, and I'll comment on it. Things like baby dolls and kitchen sets for little girls because you're supposed to nurture and tools and shit for little boys when what if a little boy loves children? What if a little boy wants to grow up to be a grown man and be a fucking nurse? What, why the fuck is it wrong for a little boy to have a baby doll because he might get the wrong idea and be a... Uh, did you hear that? Did you hear that? I don't care what you say today, you modern day mothers. A little boy is not supposed to be playing with my little pony barbie dolls and ken dolls we don't do that we have to have a line there's a line between femininity and masculinity okay a boy is not supposed to be playing with little girl toys painting his fingernails see these are the type of women with this one right here she's the type of woman that would think it would be cute to see her little boy walking around in a little pumps and high heels and makeup on his face when he's at 10 or 12 years old and take a picture and snapchat it and put it on the gram and say oh look at him he's so cute he oh he's so cute that's not how that's supposed to be Okay, you got to know your position. And a boy, when we grew up, there's always been a line in the sand that would divide you from the, the girls and the boys. The boys go play sports, basketball, and stuff like that. And most time the women playing you know, jump rope and hot scotch. There's differences between us. And what she's doing is ruining that boy. She's taking that boy, making him to a little bitty girl. That's what he's doing. Little boys are growing up to be weaker versions of men. This is why you got so many emotional men who cannot control their emotions who get mad and go shoot up the club and get mad when you look at them funny and want and do stuff to get them put in prison because women have taught these boys how to move through emotion do you understand what i'm saying they have not allowed these boys to understand what masculinity is because they are not capable of teaching that you have to bring a boy around a man a man who has the innate nature to teach that it's see masculinity is not just actions it is also instinct there's certain instincts that men have that only come with being masculine and, and those things women cannot have accessibility to our manly instincts there's stuff about us that you don't get that you can never teach a boy and you want him to play with dolls and stuff like a little girl no that ain't how they're supposed to be there's always a difference between men and women man Father, I think those are gender stereotypes, and we don't dad? have to stick those no, to no, our kids. No, Why no, the little girl? That's wrong. Right? That is wrong. Worse. If you saw, if you saw your son playing with a group of girls or playing with a group of kids and he saw a baby alive that's crying, somebody pushed his stomach and it started crying. So your son's first reaction is, oh. Oh, here's another thing. Why would a boy be playing with a bunch of girls? Listen to what she's saying. Boys, real boys back in the day, they wouldn't run around with girls and stuff unless they trying to hump on them when they're teenagers or something like that. But boys run with boys, man, most times. Boys ain't scared to get calluses on their hands. Women are, majority of the time. And they teach that to them little boys. Let me get this bottle. It's a fake baby crying. Let me feed it because the fuck it needs nurtured. You would be instantly you like, put that goddamn say? dog you know down. The... That's a very, very, very sad and horrible situation. Got some more for you. Gender roles are important. Let's play this one. Oh, excuse me right quick, ladies and gentlemen. I thought I had put it on the screen, but I didn't. Please forgive me. There you go. With the dynamic. Didn't have a problem lately. Most, and I know y'all hard of hearing, most women have a problem with the dynamic of double standards when it doesn't benefit them. Like a woman will want to be promiscuous and say, well, if the men can do it, why I can't do it? 
but then turn around and say, well, a man is feminine just because he's doing something that you don't like. Now you're uh, when a woman says that a man is being feminine, it's usually because they want to call him sassy. When he says he want to block you or he said, look, I'm done with you or I don't like the way that you treated me. I don't like the way that you're dressing like that. Now he's sassy. And like she said a while ago, women want to know how come men can do certain things and women can't do it without getting punished. Let me tell you something, because it goes back to gender roles. Most women who say that trash, like if a man can do it, I can do it too. They was failed by their own mother. They probably came from a single mother household and they were teaching that propaganda to them. The reason why you can't do what men do, lady, is because you ain't a damn man. I mean, how, how, I mean, how can you not know this? All right. The reason why you can't do what an eagle do, lady, because you're not a damn bird. It's really just that simple. You overcomplicating shit here. You are a woman. You have menstrual cycles. You have breasts. But JJ, everything outwardly about you is different from a man as well as your emotional state of being. And you still want to know why you can't do the things that a man can do, you fool. Now, yes, you do have men that do move feminine, but you can't call every man feminine just because he's moving or made you mad at the moment. That's childish. See, this is what irritates me about women that do think like that and men included will feel like, okay, I want to move like a man but then you don't want to have the backlash of moving like a man. See, ladies. Exactly. You want to be a man. You want to talk trash to a man like a man till a man put his hands on you. And I don't promote any type of violence. But if a man do something to you because you put yourself in that masculine role, now you want to cry. You want to be sad. You want to remind yourself and everyone else that you're a woman. But here it is. You don't provoke the man that you already knew is biologically superior to you when it comes to strength and, and strength and speed. And you want to mess around and try to provoke that. It, they call that poking the bear. So when you poking the bear in the middle of the woods like they're just irritating the hell out that bear. Once that bear turn around and maul you and put some on your ass, now you want to cry and say, look, the bear shouldn't deal what it did. I'm just a human being just poking it with a stick. That's just how silly that shit is. If you want to be a man, you got to deal with all the consequences that come with being a man. That means going out there and struggle like a man. That, especially a black man, that means going out there and dealing with your, you know, whoever don't like your skin tone if they are in a position of superior, um, a supervision on your job. You got to do a whole lot of things out there as a man that you complain about that you wish you could do. The backlash of moving like a man. See ladies, we can do the whole thing of we'll do something and then hide, by, hide our hands behind our back because, oh, we women, we women. Men, especially black men, don't get that luxury of, oh, I'm a man, you know, forgive me. No, they gotta deal with the consequences. So you can't have it both ways. It's not in our DNA to be sitting here moving like a man and vice versa. You don't want to be in a lesbian type of relationship where he's catty and gossiping like a woman and vice versa. He doesn't want to be with a woman that's sitting here acting like his homie. It's the reason why the rapper Finesse two times left Erica Banks ass. And don't get me wrong. I believe in equality, but we still need to follow certain gender roles. I'm not saying move out here like a nun, but move like a lady. Gotta teach these women how to be ladies. But like she said, like I said, brought ago, you're not even bot your DNA tells you not to be a, a man. But you still wanna do it though. You still wanna run all over a man, be the masculine domineering force in a relationship because you don't understand gender roles. Hold on. I'll put something else up there for you, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it. We will we will literally don't do, that. Don't don't do that that's Facts. a girl does that Facts. so now we've already put that energy out Into there that you, and it's yep. that, damaging and, and it's, it's damaging yeah. and yep. now you what you're looking at right now is a bunch of masculine women surrounded around a whole bunch of punk beta males i don't really like this dude show too much but there's some things i see on there now she just said to you the thing that causes problems in families is that you tell a boy basically don't do that that's a, that's what girls do there's nothing wrong with saying that and there are things that only girls do. So when and she's saying that's a problem. So if you don't teach these little boys or little girls their positions, how they function in their gender and how they function in gender roles, you're going to have a whole bunch of confused children like we have right now who don't know what it means. You got men who don't know how to change a tire. You got women who do. You got women who don't know how to do something for their own daughters, but the men do. It's all backwards have warped this child's mind I'm to think brilliant. that something is wrong this with is him because of feminine yeah. energy but really it comes to and really it's just his humanity it ain't got nothing to do with feminine or man 
think we all know that's a bunch of nonsense. Talking about the humanity. Okay, we are human. But as humans, we have roles. We have different biologies. Y'all be coming up with some of the most weirdest stuff I ever seen. I swear to God, some of these people do. One last clip. When they talk about traditional gender roles, I guess the first question is, what does that mean? Does that mean that traditionally speaking, the man should be the one earning the money, bringing the money home, paying the bills, handling anything physical. The woman, if they want to work as like a secondary income, that's great, but I still am the primary breadwinner. And then the, the woman's main value add is not financial, but it's more so maternal and domestic in nature where it's focusing on hey cooking cleaning raising our kids i now tell me what was wrong with anything that that gentleman said right there like i said i believe in 100 percent. i don't believe in 50 50 relationships and what i found that when i say that to some people it's usually people who don't have the financial ability to become 100 they'll say things like man it's so hard out here man you gotta um, have at least two people that's a lie as a man we work harder we put ourselves in the best financial position as we possibly can. True, everybody can't be rich. I'm not rich. But I do know if a man work hard, he can become the type of man that he wants to be, if he chooses to be. You know what I mean? So that's me. So I, I have the ability to do what I said I can do. But I didn't come from no silver spoon family. So I believe a man should get be the primary breadwinner. And I believe the man has the authority in the household. He's the head of the household. He tell the woman what to do. I know y'all don't want to hear that. I ain't saying he got to be a slave master, but... His word, yes or no, matters. It carries the most weight. So I want you gentlemen to put yourselves in the best version, in the best position that you can find yourself in so you can have the most leverage in a relationship. Because whenever you give a woman that ability to be half on everything, that's where you're going to have most of your problem. You see more women submit to men who um, actually run things. Now, there are men who have a whole lot of money, who um, have problems with relationship. I'm not saying that don't happen. But you have more peace, gentlemen. If you know that you are the one running the household, and I'm telling you that right now, but you, most women who run, do 50-50 have the, the nastiest mouth, the nastiest attitudes, man. They have the most entitlement, I'm telling you, man, because they feel that they are your equal. They think that they can see you at eye level. And you let them, you put them in that. You put them in that position. I, I don't do that. I don't do that. But um, let me know what you think about this. I greatly appreciate y'all time today. And uh, y'all have a good one. I'll see you soon now, you hear?